Hi guys, welcome to the third part of the PSP trilogy. Now, um, as you can see, this is a whole bunch of PSP games, which are basically my collection. Uh, they're not in uh, in alphabetical order at the moment. They're just uh, kind of a put them like that, really like that. There's no order at all. But anyway, yeah, here's my PSP collection. Uh, as you can see, you will see the only just the first row. Uh, there are also there's a top row, as you can see, and uh, the few more games uh, uh, at the top, and then you go two more rows at the back. Now, this uh, ideally consists of about 110 games. Uh, yeah, that's how much I calculated, but really I should count them uh, one by one. Now. Uh, you can see now this is my shelf it's in the bottom floor so I do apologize for the uh, yeah for the camera position and uh, yeah it's not I'm not using actual tripod tripod I'm using a bunch of books um, okay so as you can see uh, what we got in here go talk man uh, that's pretty sorry it's a pretty interesting game, this one. Actually, it's not even a game, it's a translation tool. This actually comes in with a microphone. Um, yeah, so kind of Broken Destiny. Uh, this I'll go from I think could be the exchange, then Cory McRae. Uh, this one will go for a 50p in a caribou cell. So I just, um, uh, it just need to show you a whole bunch of games in here. Let me just lay down the floor. Okay. Yeah, this actually came to get sorry, acid. That comes in with the, um, it's called with the uh, yeah the cards uh, cards list. Basically, you can cross them off the ones that you already own. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Interestingly enough, actually, uh, I actually have the uh, demo discs, demo UMDs. Uh, this came in in a, uh, there was a a shop actually there was a meeting point in uh, Regent Street uh, a bunch of years ago. I think it was 2009 where uh, people just meet up and play Monster Hunter Freedom and uh, yeah, they, they handed out some uh, the demo UMDs interesting stuff, anyway, I actually got the demo UMDs I forgot what they are now uh, actually, I might give my show to them, to them later probably um, but yeah, uh, that's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite especially this show Gran Turismo, but when it came out Intru yeah, the fact is that it's missing the career mode but you know, I might feature it to one day. Um, they go, yeah. Metal Slug Anthology. Actually, sorry. Mega Solid Digital. Yeah, the digital graphic novel. This is actually one of the first games that I bought on the PSP, and uh, still cool. Um, it's just a graphic novel. I'm not a big. F I have, I'm not a big fan of the art style. Um, I'm not too sure if anyone, if you're watching, uh, the the if you ever read uh, Dylan Dog. Uh, it's an Italian comic, and uh, there was one similar artist that had this uh, the ab abstract uh, style. Not a big fan of it. Metal Slug Anthology, which is the best port uh, across all the platforms. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Ben the Wii and the PS2 ports. Metal uh, Slug Anthology is pretty cool, portable. Uh, also, that one was one of the first games uh, that I remember buying. And to be honest, it's a uh, yeah, I, I did feature it on my top 10, and to be honest, yeah, it's a great game. Mema Katamari, I haven't tried this one yet, I don't remember trying it. I've had it for years, but yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Then you go, oh, great, great game. Uh, yeah, I'll feature, I'll feature this one on my top 10, that's what you've seen already. And uh, it's a really good port. You just can play, yeah, you can just play, uh, Multiplayer with other people. Uh, at the moment, you can't play pro multiplayer, but this is probably the best one you can play locally multiplayer. And it's great port and uh, plays so many hours into it. Uh, Vice City Stories, probably this one did feature it in my, my um, yeah, in, in yeah, in my, in my second pickup video. Uh, it's the one that I've been given by my IT guy at work. He's giving it as a, as a gift. He was great. Uh, and you got Mac. Which is a defeat, yeah, that as well. Defeat it to a pickup video. It's um, it's a racing airplane game, Fat Princess. Uh, yeah, defeat it, strategic game. 
Beat Dancer as well, Test Drive Unlimited, Good Port, Peace Walker. Well, I don't even need to actually introduce this one. It, it spent a lot of hours into it. Great game. Uh, Astonishing Story, uh, RPG, JRPG actually. Uh, I think it's one of the yeah, kind of standard JRPGs, not the best one. What's it, what is of Lost Empire? It's a hack and slash. Um, uh, made solely for the uh, PSP. I think yeah, it was by a uh, Sony studio. I forgot which one. I'm doing Ghosts and Goblins. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's uh, by Capcom, of course. Uh, it's a uh, pretty cool. Uh, how's it called? Not reboot, but how would you say? Remodernization of a, of a franchise for the PSP. Okay, so then you see with the Dead or Alive Paradise, uh, terrible game, but uh, boy for one pound uh, HMV. To be honest, any PSP game is true life, just because it's a rubbish game, it's a cult game, and to be show it should be in everyone's PSP collection. Uh, Crash, I bought it actually. Crash here, bought it. Um, because Rock Mer- Merges Rock, sorry, Merges Rocks introduced, you know, say it's one of the best uh, PSP games, and I uh, did finish it. It's a great puzzle game. Uh, it's also been released on 3DS, by the way. Every extend extra from uh, I think it was the Luminous creator. Um, yeah, it's a uh, kind of like uh, Luminous, I think. I uh, unfortunately didn't try it, and I don't remember how the gameplay was. Uh, yeah, I need to try it out one day, actually. Yeah, anyway, every extend extra. Uh, then EA Replay, which is a collection of EA games, like Wing Commander, Road Rush 3, and a whole bunch of other stuff now that I forgot. But yeah, um, this one actually, I sold it ages ago, and I, um, I bought it back very recently. Uh, it was the NTSC version. That was great. The Joe Explorer, which is a... Um, like a slash, but with uh, random dungeons. I uh, didn't get the best votes, but uh, yeah, I thought, why, why not get it? Yeah, I do sorry for, about the sticker here, but um, yeah, I tried to get rid of it, but yeah, it's pretty bit difficult. They go, why not Chronicles? I never tried it, actually. Um, I brother bought it, but I never, I never myself never tried it. Uh, okay, so that's the, yeah, first row. So Fantasy Apportable, uh, featured that one in my pickup videos. Harvey Birdman, that one too. It's like a um, very similar to Ace Attorney. Yeah, it's by based on the comic Harvey Birdman. Uh, uh, sorry, then the comic based on the cartoon Harvey Birdman. Parcel Collection, this one is the last video featured in my gameplay videos. Uh, interesting game, uh, fighting game. Secret Agent Clank, uh, platformer. I thought. I mean, I always see, seen it and uh, bought it, really. It's just uh, so I have another platform on the PSP. They got Gradius Collection, a great collection of, 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 of Gradius. Uh, it's got a thing called the Gradius, I think. I might, might be wrong, but with a few mod, more. But it's a great collection, uh, very fast. And it actually looks good on the PSP 3000. Uh, Coded Arms, uh, yeah, FPS. Uh, actually, this I think is the only FPS that I own on the console. Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's uh, yeah, it was the launch, launch title. I, I think one of the launch titles on the PSP. I like the graphics. I did try it, and uh, to be honest, it's quite satisfying as a, as a shooter. So then you got uh, Valkyrie Profile. Uh, you all guys know it. It's I think it's a remake of a PS1 Valkyrie Profile. Um, uh, yeah, I myself didn't try much at JRPGs, sorry. <laughs> so, hey, that, uh, that's one of my brother. Actually, my brother and me do share this collection. Sorry, just to show you. Uh, Blast Brook Calamity Trigger, but we recently off Amazon, and uh, it's a pretty cool version of the game. Not a big fan, I mean, not a big player of fighting games, but I'll, um, that one, pretty cool. Pretty like it, pretty much like it. So, uh, Pursuit Force Exchange Justice, that's been recommended by Nergius Rocks. As again, like Crush, in his top uh, 10 PSP games. Uh, then, uh, yeah, it's basically like a uh, drive cars, shoot 
uh, shoot terrorists and whatnot, interesting stuff. Uh, Space Invader Extreme, pretty cool, pretty cool version of Space Invaders, very different than you expect, quite on, but on drugs, let's see, yeah, Space Invaders on drugs, basically more so than Infinity Engine uh, on the iOS or, or the Android. Luminous, uh, it's like a Tetris clone. Uh, I mean, I all think it's mixed between uh, uh, Dance Dance Revolution, uh, yeah, Tetris, and uh, Put Your Pop Fever. Uh, that's the best way I can think of it. It's Combat X, uh, awesome, yeah, from the awesome series of uh, dog, dog fighting uh, airplane games. Uh, yeah, this one didn't try out much. Actually, every yeah, Tosbar on 3DS, a different version. Uh, but I didn't try out much, actually. I'm guilty of not playing them enough. So, I think got Tekken Dark Resurrection, a uh, wonderful version of a game. Uh, I need to try more. Yes, uh, I play a lot of these games, I only tried them once, and I need to get back to them. Uh, Eco Chrome, uh, which is. Um, yeah, you probably, you know, the other Eco game, I forgot. No, no, uh, Ico, Eco. Uh, yeah, f uh, which one was this, this one? See, I don't like, I don't particularly like call this one. Uh, let me see, just quickly. Uh, ah, yes, that's the, f yeah, the first one. <laughs> yeah, I always get confused. There's Eco Shift and Eco Chrome, yeah. This the f Eco Chrome is the first one. Uh, stupid cover, I prefer the Japanese one. But, um, yeah, then you got Dungeon Seek, Trouble and Agony. I think this was featured also on Jesus Rocks. Yeah, I'm following a lot of Jesus Rocks, actually. Uh, recommendations. Uh, R-Type Tactics. Uh, I was expecting to be more like a tactical game, but then you got some R-Type seg segment. And the R-Type segment, I think it's animated on it. So, uh, uh, but anyway, I got it. So I'm keeping it. After Burner Black Falcon, which I featured in my Sega Quadrilogy. Uh, pretty cool game, uh, quite obscure. Do get it, if, whatever you see. Mina Club 3, uh, one of many racing games that go on console. Um, good game. Uh, I think it's a bit slower though than usual. It should be a bit faster, but yeah, it's a pretty cool game, the graphics actually. The graphics are pretty cool. Uh, Monster Market Arctic Edge, which is I think one of the best, yeah, one of the very best driving games on PSP. Um, they got mid now. What else you got? Oh yeah, Archer McLean searches so that I don't lose myself as well. Uh, Archer McLean's Mercury, which is the uh, first Mercury series. Oh, oh yeah, the series. And uh, it's basically like a puzzle game where you have in control of this uh, Mercury ball and. Uh, you basically have to do very pu puzzly things like changing colors, activating switches depending on the color your Mercury is. A uh, very interesting game and a sequel, which is now right beside it, which is uh, Mercury Meltdown. Yeah, Mercury Meltdown. Uh, yeah, God of War Chain of Olympus, uh, as you know, the God of War series, uh, hack and slash, but uh, not top down, you know, third person hack and slash, I would say. Uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool game on PSP. Um, yeah, it's a shame we didn't release an, another one on PS Vita. Hopefully, there will be in the future one. Not too sure. If then you got Warhammer 4000 Squad Command, which is a uh, tactical game as well, um, but it's mostly uh, more like um, uh, well, let's say a modern game, which would be Ghost Recon Shadow Wars or. Um, uh, let me see. No, actually, I was thinking of the Kill Zone Liberation on PS. Uh, always on PSP. That I actually have. It's on the other side. Uh, but no, it's more of an actual tactical game. Um, then Capcom Classic Collections, pretty cool uh, version. However, like 1942, it just doesn't. And if you want to play it like normal, normal arcade version. It's a shame because it, the image size is reduced and uh, there are black bands uh, surrounding it, so it's a shame. And Wipeout Pulse, which is the better Wipeout game on the PSP. Uh, yes, there's Wipeout Pure, which I had, I don't, don't remember if I got it now, but yeah, that's a better, better game, better, better Wipeout on the PSP. Then I got a few bunch of other games here. Uh, oh, sorry. So Gundam Battle Royale. Uh, SOCOM that I featured in my last pickup video. Yes, that was Alliance and uh, Jean d'Arc. 
So that will lead us with about, uh, let me see, so we're about 27 at the bottom, or 26. Go, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there will be about a uh, about 54 games in total here between these two rows. Uh, then you go 54, 55, 56, 57, 58 uh, with the ones I just counted. Sorry, probably you might not see here. Let me just keep this one before, so about the shadowing. It's not the best. Best one. Let me just change this one here. Okay, that looks a bit better. So you got uh, Kulum. Uh, oh, switching. Yeah. Picture my pickup video. Um, it basically, uh, yeah, it's like Puyo Pop Fever again, uh, but without, of course, um, and the mix between Tetris and Puyo Pop Fever uh, without the Luminous beat. So basically, the Dance Revolution, which is very, very interesting. Uh, okay, uh, there you go. Crazy Taxi Fair Wars. Feature my pick up in my gameplay video. Uh, my, actually, let's take off the Ritchie again. Uh, yeah, very cool version. Please uh, to get it. Make so portable, portable Ops Plus. Uh, portable Ops, it's a. Uh, I think, yeah, it, it's just uh, a, bit, a bit above. You know, yeah, be next to it. Uh, let me see, yeah, this is basically just for the multiplayer, really. Uh, there was. Uh, basically, it was just concentrating on multiplayer aspect when it did that uh, release. Uh, let me see what else. Okay. Oh yeah, Anton Legend, Brother, Brotherhood of Blade, another Hack and Slash. Plenty of Hack and Slashes on PSP actually. Interesting enough. Uh, this one was released just by the Sony Studio, and uh, yes, it's Z zero zero four six, the uh, serial number, which is one of the, one of the launch titles actually on PSP. Yeah, I'm glad I have it to be honest. Jackson Dexter Lost Frontier, uh, pretty cool Jackson Dexter game, really like the uh, airplane action on it. So you can see my finger? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see the ac airplane action on it, and uh, yeah, pretty cool game. Uh, do, do get it if you really like platformers. Uh, Key of Heaven, uh, actually, my colleague was uh, actually saying about it, uh, which is, I think, Key of Paradise or something like that. It's a uh, similar name. Anyway, yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool game. It's about basically got two swords with elements, and uh, it's basically like an RPG, action RPG. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Luminous 2. Uh, yeah, I did mention that it was like uh, Pupa Fever, Tetris, and Dance Dance Revolution, so this is a sequel. <laughs> so, better. <laughs> Resistance uh, Retribution, pretty cool, very very cool third person shooter, fast and uh, very responsive and very cool. Uh, yeah, apparently there's the. Uh, now I, I need to play this one again and uh, finish it to in the Chimera mode, uh, which is a very interesting mode. You can replay the game as a with a Chimera virus. Sega Rally featured my gameplay videos, so you can see in there. Ratchet Clank Size Matters, uh, one of the, I think, uh, one of the first uh, platformer games on it, on the PSP. Pretty cool game from the reviews. Uh, I didn't test it, I didn't play it completely. Uh, Mega Man Powered Up, which is a remake of, uh, I think, Mega Man 2 or Mega Man 3. I oh, know, actually, yeah, uh, I think it was uh, something like Mega Man 3 or Mega Man. Ah, oh, no, or oh, the first Mega Man. Oh, no, I forgot. Probably you guys can correct me. Please, please do correct me. Uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool version. Uh, Capcom did release a really, really good games on the system. Shamefully, no Resident Evil. Um, Valkyria Chronicles 2, sequel to Valkyria Chronicles on PS1. Uh, they did release Valkyria Chronicles 3, just Japan exclusive, but I don't have it. I have Valkyria Chronicles 2. Uh, very cool game. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very interesting, the action tactic on it. Uh, Tokobot... Oh yes, that was supposed to be in my pickup video as well. Uh, but I might, I might re-feature it on my pickup video. Uh, it's a uh, platformer, and you basically control robots, and uh, they you... How's it called? You basically control robots to do various things. Uh, yeah, obscure. 
uh, it was released on PS2 as well, uh, but the PSP version is better. Uh, Until Legends: The Warriors Code, a sequel to the sequel to the other uh, the other Until Legends, uh, Hacker Slash. Uh, that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, do get it. Actually, do get both games uh, when you have a chance. Tales of Eternia, uh, one of the Tales of games uh, on PSP, was released. Uh, I think it was. I don't know if it's been released on DS as well. Uh, any tell, Tales, like Tales of Symphonia and all of that games. You know, yeah, interesting game. I got to have Tales of Fantasy on Game Boy Advance, by the way. Uh, sealed. Uh, Taito Legends Power Up, very cool port, another one by, uh, yeah, Taito. Uh, I think it was released on the, like, Xbox and PS2, because it's a very similar collection. Star Ocean Second Evolution, I think this is a uh, interesting copy, actually, based Australian, probably. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, you can see the yellow PG logo here. Uh, Star Ocean Second Evolution, uh, another RPG, uh, Star Ocean... I think place. Yeah, sorry, I'm just not knowledgeable in, P- yeah, in the PSP. Yeah, I mean, I still on PSP uh, in the RPG scene. So sorry about that. Uh, Final Fantasy IV, the complete collection. Uh, you guys know Final Fantasy IV. Uh, this one is still sealed. Basically, every Final Fantasy IV that I, we've got is basically sealed. Like the one DS, still sealed in this one. Um, especially my brother uh, bought them but never played them. So anyway, it's still sealed. Uh, it's got every everything in there. Let me just quickly get it out, just to show you how it is. Uh, yeah, uh, some art. Yeah, there's got art cards in here. Interesting stuff. Still sealed. Pretty good, col- pretty good condition. But is the uh, I'm not sure. They say the DS version was the best portable version, but this one does have also the After Years and the Interlude, uh, as you can see at the back, which uh, we featured on the Wii uh, of a game. Uh, actually, the way we did the DLCs for the game, uh, without making anything else fall off in here. But at least there weren't any worthwhile games. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, the game stuff fell off. Uh, Daxter and Midway Arcade Treasures. In here, there you go. So yeah, uh, then what else we got? The City of Final Fantasy, still sealed. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. Uh, this is, was the first uh, Metal Gear Solid released on the console. You might say, oh, but there was Metal Gear Acid. No, but this is a proper Metal Gear Solid uh, that was a uh, kind of a c- canon. Uh, I ve- played the hell out of this game actually. <laughs> as well, I uh, played more Peace Walker, but yeah, Portable Ops uh, was the first one, and I played a lot of it. Now, Kills and Liberation, which is a top down shooter, it's not like a Resistance in this case, they made like a top down, which is interesting. Uh, I haven't finished yet, but I'll, I'll get to it. Some Fear to Logan's Shadow, uh, it's a sequel to uh, Dark Mirror. Yeah, it's a uh, very, very cool games by the way. Some filters on PSP, uh, PSP, just get them. Uh, they are pretty cool stuff. Mega, Sega Mega Drive Collection, very cool Mega Drive Collection indeed. Uh, let me see, what, what have we got in there now? I forgot. Um, yeah, we got Sonic, uh, Phantom Star 2, 3 and 4, Echo the Dolphin. Anyway, yeah, pretty cool stuff. There you go, Sega Mega Drive Collection. Sorry, it's a bit too close to that. And then what else? I don't know if I got it. Actually, I need. I might need to get down PS2 as well, just in case. Doctor Rock One and Two. Uh, okay, Monkey's Paz 2000 actually um, did feature it. Doctor uh, Rock has these videos. Pretty cool games. Uh, forgotten now, uh, but back then they were the stuff, man. Anyway, yeah, pretty cool uh, platformer games. Then Half Me Tiro, which uh, basically you have. Uh, are basically the battles are uh, taking in, sp- in the st- space of 30 seconds. It's been released on, on PC. Then the sequel is actually is, is a PC exclusive for the moment. Uh, I, th- I don't know if it's been released, but I know that it's on PC the sequel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool game. I haven't tried it yet. So uh, what we got in here? We might not see them. 
because self self filter dark mirror uh, which is like uh, basically the first self filter on PSP very cool game again uh, it can ape escape on the loose which is I think it's a remake of the first ape escape uh, which was released on PS1 uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 um, what's this one yeah it's like a, just like a normal RPG like a standard Final Fantasy still sealed <laughs> Uh, there you go. Exit. A uh, pretty cool uh, puzzle platformer. Guru... Gurumin? Uh, now which one was this one again? Sorry. Ah! I don't remember having this one. No. What's this one? Is it another RPG? Okay. Oh, a 3D action RPG. Yeah, uh, this is in there. Five of five games published it. Interesting, that's quite obscure actually. Final Fantasy 2? Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, Final Fantasy 2, pretty cool. Uh, you, you guys know it. Uh, updated mo- graphics and all that. Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, this is more my brother's game to be honest. Uh, he's played a lot of them. Uh, especially the one as Final Fantasy Advance. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Burnout Legends, a uh, very cool Burnout game. Um, one of the first games that go on the system, a uh, very cool racer, and I do recommend getting it basically if you really like Banal 3. Um, actually, there was the F1 car race that really I got stuck on Banal 3, but I managed to actually complete it on the PSP version. Brawl Fire 3, uh, yeah, Brawl Fire series, uh, I yeah, I can't say much about it. You just let me move the camera a bit more. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, Bubble Evolution. That is actually a Chinese copy. Uh, this is actually a Chinese copy uh, in Japanese language, though. The game is in Japanese language, so am I getting one day uh, the proper version? Uh, we must ask you this one, put it uh, at M and M Games, or oh, as in known now as Play Nation Games. Uh, Burnout Dominator, sequel to Burnout Legends, uh, actually got in PS2 now as well. This one. I prefer Battle Legends over this one. Uh, if this one feels more natural, uh, this one feels a bit too uh, fakey. Uh, Ghost Eater Burst, a uh, very cool, very cool game. Uh, so the only, only shame is about the camera, how you move it. Uh, uh, this game plays better on the PS Vita, to be honest. But yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool game. It's basically imagine heavy Monster Hunter, but uh, making it in an, making it in an arena. And uh, you just do collect and uh, do collect monster parts by shooting at them. And rather than you, you actually do have a sword, but it's better shooting at them. Final Fantasy, so that's the first Final Fantasy in there, remake, remade. Patapon, which is a uh, rhythm game. It's kind of like, imagine, like, kind of like Rocco Rocco, but imagine being rhythm rather than uh, the, what's called, uh, tilting the screen, basically. Gampi, which is now I forgot Gampi. What's Gampi now? Sorry, uh, some something. Ah, it's a, like a pu- another puzzle game. Uh, see, very, so many puzzle games on PSP. I'm not counting the rubbish ones like Sudoku and all of that. Uh, I mean, not anything against Sudoku. It's just they make these cheap uh, Sudoku games. Uh, Popol Kwa which is an RPG. Uh, this is the American version, actually. Interesting. Ridge Racer. Uh, yes, that's the one of the, the second launch title on PSP. No, I don't think I have the first one, but I might have to track it down. But this is the yeah, like Ridge Racer. Very cool game, by the way, Ridge Racer um, on PSP. Uh, Puyo Pop Fever. Uh, mentioned this one a lot, didn't I? Uh, but yeah, actually, do have it here. Pretty cool game, uh, you know, people. Patapon 2, sequel to Patapon. Patapon 3 is uh, quite expensive actually, on um, checking on Amazon, probably I can find it cheaper on eBay. But one day I'll get it. Uh, this is on PlayStation Network Collection, which has, I think, Flow, Cypher Filter, Combat Tops, and Beats. Pretty cool power pack. Uh, about eight years ago. Uh, Pursuit Force. Uh, which I did, yeah, it's the first one of the Persis 4 series, uh, the one that's been featured by Mel Jesus Rocks. Uh, Generation of Chaos, another hack and slash. 
Yeah, see, so many hack and slash. Actually, no, sorry, uh, my fault. Uh, I got confused with another one now. Uh, this is now an RP another RPG on the system. Uh, interesting. Midas again. Hmm. Tony Cook's Underground 2 Remix. Uh, this one bought it for £1 actually. But uh, the UMD was completely broken, so I had to replace the UMD case. Um, pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, See what else to say about it. Yeah, it's basically like Tony Hawk Underground 2, which is the best Tony Hawk for me. Uh, let me just move a bit across here. There you go, just get the last two games. Uh, Godly Pinball Classics, pretty cool uh, pinball game. It actually, interestingly enough, you got like a room to go to and you can explore the various pinball machines. Very cool stuff, and I do recommend it if you're really a pinball fan and you like to play it on the move. Uh, then you got the two last GTA games, which is Chinatown Wars and Liberty City Stories. Interesting, I got Liberty City Stories on PS2 actually as well. But Chinatown Wars, I, the PSP version, is, I think it's the uh, best version. Uh, if not, even the I, iOS version is pretty cool. Which is a mix between the DS version and the PSP version. So, anyway, here's the PSP games. Uh, it's a bit over 100 games. Um, I've been collecting them for, uh, well, for quite a long time, for years, probably since, yeah, since the year PSP, I've, I've, I've ever had a PSP, which was back in 2006, 2007, just only recently I've had a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of these games, and, uh, yeah, so here's my PSP collection, uh, I didn't expect to be that long, to be honest, the video, and, uh, sorry about the shoddy camera work, it's just, I don't have a tripod, uh, this short uh, but yeah I hope you hope you like this video and uh, please do leave a comment um, you know if you like if you like it if you want to correct me on anything and uh, please uh, do leave a like if you want <laughs> anyway I'll uh, yeah, I'll see you next video and uh, bye